All right, I'm going to start the arms today. Let's see, I'm going to do something I don't normally do. I'm going to wrap the arms with the real thin aluminum wire. for the palm of the hands. <sighs> then I just wrap it with some tape, electrician's tape, to keep it in place so that it doesn't uh, go moving around on me. I don't want to put the clay on and have the wire slide down and not clay go down with it. All right, I've uh, made an armature for the uh, scarf that she is holding in her hands and letting billow out behind her. Um, not sure that's going to work, but trying it out anyway. Let's take the uh, armature out. I think you could see how nice that looks with that. shawl blowing, blowing in the wind. All right, I'm going to be taking her head off in a little bit here and start working on her head, head and face because I want to... Uh, plan out her hair which will be full it won't be braided it'll be flowing because I want it to also react to the wind and I can't do that till I get the face structure figured out <sighs> that was stressful <laughs> You know you're not breaking new ground if you're not stressed. A little. You may have the knowledge, but it's still stressful to do some things. Okay, I'm going to take her head off. All right, I put uh, the head armature into this jig. And this is a uh, attachment for an impact drill so that you can use regular drill bits. It's, uh, it expands and contracts for the uh, drill bits, but it works really good for uh, tightening and locking in the wire armature for the, uh, the head so that I can work on the head separate from her. I'm working off of several photographs that I and, and illustrations that I got from uh, the web and uh, you can get a lot when you search on Pinterest because they have a great store of uh, drawings and photographs and renderings and stuff like that that really helps uh, if you've got a particular subject. For this one, I searched <sighs> faces of young women. And uh, I got a few good ones. So I'm going to take a combination of what I've got 
and make my own face. Okay, I'm just measuring the head to make sure I've got a proper size for her head and it needs to be increased in height just a little. All right, I've just uh, blocked in the face a little bit. I increased the uh, forehead a little bit. A female forehead is just a little rounder than a male's. Males tend to have a little more heavy brow area where a female doesn't. But not all females are that way either. Just like not all males are that way. Everybody's different. But when you're working with something that you're doing out of your head, you sort of have to follow certain laws laid down by artists 2,000, 3,000 years ago. And when you're working on a face, you've got to do one side and then the other exactly what you just did on the other side. That way you keep everything... symmetrical although no face is symmetrical just put a mirror halfway between your right down the center of your face and look at it and it'll look odd because it'll be perfect on both sides at the reflection of the mirror nobody's perfect on both sides of the face all right this is gonna be the last thing i do today I've uh, blocked in the face. Now it's up to me to make it look like a young girl. And let me tell you, that's not easy. But i got to make the eyeballs, and I'm making them out of monster clay because it holds its shape better. It turns a little harder than the uh, clay that I use. If I can just get the damn thing in the eye socket. There we go. That one's a little bit big. If you're going to work around an eyeball, you want the eyeball to be at least... Now, that's a perfect size, and this one's just a hair too big. It's just a matter of taking away clay and Redoing the uh, rolling around in your fingers so you get a ball. Now let this stiffen up overnight, which will make it perfect for tomorrow. There. Both eyeballs are the same. Okay. I may bring out the eyeballs just a little bit not much. All right, everybody. Let's see what she looks like with her head on. Oh, that looks nice. That head is, is perfect. The nose is perfect. Everything is turning out perfect. <laughs> I keep telling myself that. It doesn't always happen. All right. See you guys tomorrow. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.